So imagine it's the middle of the night and you are tired and stressed from work that you decided to stay at a late night shop that offers donuts and coffee. You ate a chocolate donut and drank a French vanilla coffee. Finally went out of store after 30 minutes and decided to go back home. But there was a problem. It's the middle of the night and you are alone. You have heard of cases of people going missing lately, so you couldn't stop thinking about the fact that you might be in danger. You start calling your friend Joe and he says, Me? Sorry, I'm busy. So you only got a little depressed as Joe is the only option you have. Your family is out of reach too. Plus, for an adult to not get used to the situations, isn't that a bit childish, you thought. So you faced your fears and walked home by yourself saying, I'm sure nothing will happen to me. Or does it? I mean, there are cases on your place about people being kidnapped lately, and you forgot that because of the thought that nothing will happen to me. It's a rare chance to happen, you say. It's like one out of a 1,000 to happen. But what if it turns out that you were kidnapped by someone that night? The question we most likely don't know is what are the odds of me being in danger? The answer is, it could happen anytime. But maybe you're just lucky, or maybe your place is just really fine. But you're most likely to be in Mexico, Haiti, Brazil, India, Colombia, Venezuela, and did I miss one out? Oh yeah, Philippines. I'm not saying this because I'm racist, but according to research, these are the top seven countries where you are most likely to get kidnapped. I did a little research on that. Lol. Anyways, so the odds of you getting kidnapped increases, even if kidnapping cases are low in your mind. Adding the fact that recently people are getting kidnapped in your place. Plus remember, it's the middle of the night, and there are few people in your place. It could be a sign of danger. So what can you do to help yourself in case you encounter these scenarios? If you are sure that there is a kidnapper behind you, don't panic, but call the police. Not your friend, family, or anyone else. There are a lot of cases where victims of kidnapping calls their relatives and ends up not tracing the criminal at all. Calling the police will help so that you can be easily tracked, so be smart. If the kidnapper grabs you from behind and you are sure you can take him down, look for open spots. You can use your heels to stomp their feet, or you can elbow them. If he approaches from the front, then you can kick him down the nuts. Well, this doesn't work on women though, but you can kick them on the knee so they'll fall down. You can't do this all the time though, especially if he or she has a gun. If he or she is chasing you with a gun, you can run, but you have to in different directions. This makes it harder for them to aim at you. What if the kidnapper did catch you? What if there was no other way but to listen to the kidnapper? First, don't panic. You'll just make the kidnapper more likely to hurt you. Instead, gather facts. Look at the kidnappers. Observe them without getting caught. Use your senses. What age do you think they are? How many are there? Are they armed? Do they look like you can take them on? What do you think are they feeling? Observe your surroundings. Do you think you know where you are? If you're in the car, take note of the route, the turns, the variation of speed, and the tops. This will help you in getting track of the place you're going. If you're being held in the area already, look for exits, things or camps hidden in the place. Observe yourself. Check if your condition is good so you have strength to find your way out. When a kidnapper talks, listen to him. Do not make a movement that may discourage him. From listening, you will know more about the kidnapper, and this will help you find clues in getting out. So in case that these happen, remember that you should always think positive and be smart. It's a very rare case to happen, but it's also a very rare chance of survival. So next time you go to work, go home early and wait for Joe to finish his work. At least when he's around, no one have the courage to kidnap you, right? Created using Powtoon.